Science is one of those parts of life that feels pretty concrete as if you can trust what you're getting from it. There's usually either one of two theories or hypotheses to support a claim. It leaves people with the answers that they need. But sometimes science can't explain every mystery. From a giant dinosaur skeleton to the Shroud of Turin, today we bring you 20 Mysterious Discoveries Scientists Can't Explain. Giant Dinosaur Skeleton It sounds like something right out of Jurassic Park, but that couldn't be because that movie is all fiction. Giant dinosaur skeletons only exist in a land like that. Well, not this time, because we have one that came out of China. China has become a hotbed of dinosaur discoveries, with numerous well-preserved fossils being uncovered in various regions of the country. It's like the gold mine, but for fossils. One of the most remarkable finds to date is a nearly complete dinosaur skeleton that's estimated to be around 180 million years old. The discovery of this dinosaur skeleton is significant because it provides new insight into the early evolution of dinosaurs and how they may have developed over time. Scientists are particularly excited about this find because it's one of the few dinosaur skeletons to have been found with soft tissue still attached, which can provide valuable information about the biology of these ancient creatures. In addition to its scientific significance, the discovery of this 180 million year old dinosaur skeleton is also of great cultural and historical importance. China has a rich and proud history of dinosaur discoveries, and this new find is likely to become a major attraction for tourists and dinosaur enthusiasts all around the world. The discovery of this 180 million year old dinosaur skeleton in China is an exciting and important development for the field of paleontology. It provides new insights into the early evolution of dinosaurs and will likely lead to further discoveries and a greater understanding of these fascinating creatures. It's nice to see something come from China that isn't a balloon, now isn't it? Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Every now and then we bring you some truly horrifying things to gander at. We don't apologize for that because, just as they are frightening, they're also something we need to learn about. We have to know all about what's going on in our world to stay informed. And this photo right here is no exception. Take a look at this unknown photo that shows some sort of sea creature coming up out of the water. On one hand, it looks like a video game. On the other, it looks like a grainy photo from real life. The shameful part here is that the fact that it's so grainy and has no origin. But you can definitely make out what looks like a warped creature. It also looks like it's coming right out of the water. There's no telling what it is and we have a feeling that unless the government fills us in, we're not going to know for a long time. That's why we leave it up to you. What do you think this creature popping up out of the water is? Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag missing topic to let your voice be heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Sac Se Huaman Giant Stone Wall When people think of giant walls, they tend to think of the Great Wall of China or maybe that whole border wall thing in the US. But today we have a different wall. It's the Sac Se Huaman Giant Stone Wall. This is an ancient site located in the city of Cusco, Peru, that's renowned for its massive stone walls. This incredible feat of engineering is all the more impressive considering that the walls were constructed without the use of modern tools or technology. The exact purpose of this wall is unknown, but it's believed that they served as a fortification for the Inca capital of Cusco. Who doesn't love a mystery like that? The site was also used for religious and ceremonial purposes and is believed to have been a sacred place for the Inca people. In addition to its architectural and historical significance, it's also a great cultural and spiritual importance to the people of Peru. Many local residents believe that the site is imbued with spiritual energy and that it has healing properties. Today, it's a popular tourist destination and is considered one of the top archaeological sites in South America. Visitors can tour the site and admire the impressive stone walls while learning about the rich history and culture of the Inca civilization. This giant stone wall is a remarkable example of ancient engineering and construction and is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Inca people. It's a site that's rich in history, culture, and spiritual significance and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the ancient civilizations of South America. And of course, don't forget about all the mystery that comes with it. The Shroud of Turin 
It's not something from Harry Potter or the game Assassin's Creed, but it's pretty darn similar in scope. It's called the Shroud of Turin, and it's got people on the internet talking. The Shroud of Turin is a piece of cloth that's been the subject of much debate and speculation for centuries. The Shroud is believed by some to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ and is revered as one of the most important religious artifacts in the world. The authenticity of the Shroud has been the subject of much debate and scientific investigation over the years. Some experts believe that the Shroud is a medieval forgery, while others believe that it's the genuine burial shroud of Jesus Christ. In 1988, carbon-14 dating tests were conducted on a piece of it, and the results indicated that the cloth was made between 1260 and 1390 AD. However, many people dispute the validity of these results, and some experts believe that the shroud is much older. Despite the controversy surrounding its authenticity, the shroud continues to be an object of fascination and devotion for millions of people around the world. It's housed in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy, and is available for viewing by the public. The Shroud of Turin remains one of the most mysterious and intriguing artifacts in the world. Its true origin and age continue to be the subject of much debate, but it remains an important symbol of faith and devotion for many people. Whether it's the genuine burial shroud of Jesus Christ or a medieval forgery, the shroud continues to capture the imagination of people around the world and remains a testament to the enduring power of religious belief. And at the end of the day, isn't that really all that matters? We tend to think so. White Mountain Petroglyphs There's something special about history because it shows what us humans went through, lived through, and were like before our version of today existed. We don't always quite understand that history because those days are far different than the ones we live in today. Of course, we can still relate on a human level because all humans have that connection. But when it comes to old carvings and old writings, it can be a bit tricky to decipher. That doesn't make things any less cool, though. We now bring you something very similar in the form of petroglyphs. If you're not familiar, these are much like cave drawings except a little different, and the ones we're about to tell you about have the internet abuzz. You may not be into this type of stuff, but when you see these specific writings, you'll think otherwise for sure. Located in Wyoming's Red Desert just north of Rock Springs are some etchings that transcend history. They're etched into sandstone bedrock and can be over a whopping 1,000 years old. These etchings definitely don't portray things like SpongeBob SquarePants, but instead depict things like bison, swords, and other animals. It's a sign of the times which shows what was important to whomever created these etchings. Just like the art that we've created today, we'll be around for the next generation to look over. This has been a history lesson in just what life was like back then. In a small way, of course. Nothing will ever fully take us back to what it was really like, but through this imagery, we can get a good vibe. Krishna's Butter Ball Krishna's Butter Ball, it kind of sounds like a celebrity boxer that you'd see fighting on one of those internet events, but surprisingly, it's the furthest thing from that. Krishna's Butter Ball is a large, spherical boulder located in the small village of Mahabalipuram in southern India. The boulder, which measures approximately 5 meters in diameter and weighs an estimated 250 tons, is said to have been used by the Hindu god Krishna as a platform for playing with his friends. Despite its massive size, Krishna's butter ball rests on a small sloping hill and appears to be balanced precariously on a thin base. The boulder's precarious balance is a mystery that's puzzled experts for centuries, and it remains one of the most striking examples of ancient engineering in India. Krishna's butter ball is pretty much an artifact from ancient India, combining religious, historical, and engineering significance. Whether used as a platform for play by the Hindu god or as a symbol of the ingenuity of the ancient engineers who built the nearby Shore Temple, Krishna's butter ball remains a fascinating and inspiring part of India's rich cultural heritage. It's a shame that it's not actually a fat celebrity boxer, though. That would have been funny. Antikythera Mechanism Forget about the calendars that you've bought at the Hallmark store. This one is a whole different beast, and it comes right out of history. Trust us, this type of calendar doesn't require a red highlighter. The Antikythera mechanism is an ancient astronomical and calendrical mechanism that was discovered in 1901, and the Antikythera shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. The mechanism, which is believed to have been created in the 2nd century BC, is considered to be one of the most sophisticated examples of ancient technology 
and is regarded as one of the world's first known mechanical computers. Since then, the mechanism has been the subject of much research and investigation, and scientists have been working to uncover its secrets and understanding how it was created and used. But we tend to think that they're going to have a hard time figuring that one out. In recent years, advances in technology and imaging techniques have made it possible to study the mechanism in greater detail, revealing even more of its complexity and sophistication. Today, the Antikythera mechanism is considered to be one of the most important artifacts of ancient technology and is a testament to the incredible scientific and engineering knowledge of the ancient Greeks. The Antikythera mechanism is a unique and fascinating artifact from the ancient world, combining astronomy, technology, and engineering in a way that was centuries ahead of its time. Whether used for scientific, educational, or religious purposes, this mechanism remains a powerful symbol of human ingenuity and a testament to the enduring legacy of the ancient Greeks. Rat King Well, there's not going to be a lot of surprise with this next one because there was a Tiger King after all. This one is instead the Rat King, but it comes from Russia. The Russian Rat King is an artifact that's been the subject of much speculation and intrigue for centuries. This strange phenomenon occurs when multiple rats become entangled in each other's tails, forming a large tangled mass that can be several feet in length. In Russia, the Rat King has been associated with superstition and folklore, and is believed to bring good luck and fortune to those who possess one. Despite its mysterious origin, the Russian Rat King has become a symbol of the enduring fascination with natural oddities and curiosities. Today, several examples of Rat Kings can be found in museums and collections around the world, where they continue to captivate the imagination of visitors and researchers alike. The Russian Rat King is a unique and fascinating artifact from the natural world, combining elements of superstition, folklore, and science in a way that continues to captivate and intrigue people to this day. Whether viewed as a symbol of good luck or as a testament to the fascinating intricacies of nature, the Russian Rat King remains a powerful and enduring artifact of human history. We were definitely picturing a giant mouse in a gold crown, though. The Long U Grottoes As of late, there's been so many instances where people have recorded themselves doing things like going cave digging. It could probably be considered a craze at this point. And throughout all this cave digging, there's been some discoveries of some truly inspiring cave systems. One of them is the Long U Grottoes. The Long U Grottoes are a series of ancient man-made caves located in the village of Shenyan Beikun in the Zhejiang province of China. The grottoes also contain intricate water systems and drainage channels, suggesting that they may have served a practical purpose in addition to their artistic and religious significance. Despite their historical significance, the Long Yu Grottoes remained unknown to the outside world until 1992, when a local farmer stumbled upon them while digging a well. Since their discovery, they've become a popular tourist destination and have been the subject of much scientific and historical research. However, the exact purpose and function of the grottoes remain a mystery. The Long Yu Grottoes are considered a marvel of ancient engineering and architectural design. They're a testament to the skills and creativity of the people of the Eastern Han Dynasty and provide valuable insights into ancient Chinese culture and history. They're also a reminder of the many wonders that remain to be discovered in the world. The Long Yu Grottoes are an impressive and mysterious archaeological site that continues to captivate the world. Their discovery has shed new light on ancient Chinese culture and history, and their intricate carvings and engineering continue to astound visitors from all around the world. They're a must-visit destination for anyone interested in history, archaeology, and art. Maybe avoid the whole cave diving videos on TikTok, though. The Cockno Stone If there's anything we like outside of spooky mysteries, it's a stone with a catchy name. We know that's oddly specific, but that's how we roll. This is where we drift into the Cockno Stone. The Cockno Stone is a prehistoric artifact located in the Western Bartonshire region of Scotland. It's a large and complex patterned petroglyph, rock art, that's considered one of the most important and well-preserved examples of ancient British art. In the 1960s, it was covered with a protective concrete casing to prevent further damage from the elements and from human activity. However, in recent years, there have been calls for the removal of the concrete casing in order to allow for better preservation and study of the stone. Despite its importance, the Cockno Stone has faced numerous threats over the years, including vandalism, theft, and damage from natural erosion. 
Despite these challenges, the stone remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious examples of ancient British art and continues to captivate visitors and researchers alike. Heck, even we're a little captivated by it. Stonehenge It feels like this next one on our list needs no introduction. After all, we tend to reference it a lot because of how famous it is. We're talking about Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument located in Wiltshire, England. It's considered one of the most iconic and mysterious ancient structures in the world and has been the subject of much speculation and research for centuries. Stonehenge is estimated to have been built between 3000 and 2000 BC, making it over 4000 years old. Stonehenge consists of a circular arrangement of massive stone blocks, each weighing several tons. Despite this, it continues to be a popular tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year. Stonehenge is a truly remarkable ancient structure that continues to inspire wonder and fascination. Its unique design and mysterious purpose have made it one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, and it remains a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the history and archaeology of the ancient world. Just don't go there looking for any sort of answers because they've been looking for 140 years. Wired Lines in the Desert It feels like we're always covering old writings on walls, and this is because there's just so many of them which also bring with it a lot of mystery. The Nazca Lines are a series of ancient geoglyphs, large designs etched into the ground, located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. They're considered one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world and are estimated to date back to between 500 BC and 500 AD. The lines are made by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert, revealing the light-colored sand below. The exact purpose of the Nazca Lines is still unknown, but there still have been several theories over the years, including that they were used for astronomical observations, an irrigation system, or as religious offerings to the gods. Another theory is that the line served as a way for the Nazca people to communicate with their gods, as it's believed that the gods lived in the sky and could only be reached through flight. They faced numerous threats over the years, including weather erosion, human activity, and modern development. Despite these challenges, the lines have been well preserved, and in 1994 they were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So there you have it, maybe one day you'll be able to figure out what's behind it all. The Gate of the Sun It kind of sounds like a song by Audio Slave. it just has that ring to it. What we're talking about right now is called The Gate of the Sun, and this is a pretty cool one if you ask us. The Gate of the Sun is a famous monument located in La Paz, Bolivia. It's a large, elaborate archway made of carved stone and is considered one of the most important cultural and spiritual symbols of the indigenous peoples of the Andes region. Who doesn't love something like that? But get this, this exact origin and purpose of the Gate of the Sun are unknown, but it's thought to have been constructed by the Tiwanaku culture, which dominated the region between 500 AD and 1000 AD. Some researchers believe that the archway was used as a calendar or a celestial observatory, as the carvings on the monument seem to represent astronomical events and the movements of the sun, moon, and stars. In addition to its astronomical significance, the Gate of the Sun also holds great cultural and spiritual value for the indigenous peoples of the Andes region. Many indigenous communities in Bolivia and Peru still practice traditional beliefs and rituals that are connected to the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the Gate of the Sun is considered a symbol of these ancient traditions. Despite its age and historical significance, the Gate of the Sun has been well preserved and remains one of the most visited tourist attractions in La Paz. Visitors to this site can view the elaborate carvings and sculpture up close and learn about the rich cultural heritage of the Andes region. So, if you're ever hanging around here, go check it out because it's quite the thing to see. Even we support it. The Underground City of Derinkuyu We love one that makes us think about Batman. There's something about an underground city that gives us that type of Gotham City vibe. Well, that's where this next one falls into play. The underground city of Derinkuyu is an ancient network of underground dwellings and tunnels that can be found in the Cappadocia region of central Turkey. The city was constructed using a complex network of tunnels and chambers, some of which were set as deep as 60 meters below the surface. The underground dwellings were equipped with all the necessary amenities, including ventilation shafts, kitchens, stables, storage rooms, and even wineries. It kind of sounds like a place that we would like to live in. 
The entrance to this city was hidden behind a large stone door that could only be opened from the inside. This allowed residents to seal themselves off from the outside world and ensure their safety. In addition to serving as a place of refuge, the underground city was also used for religious purposes and contained several chapels and churches. Today, the underground city is a popular tourist attraction and a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the ancient people who lived in the Cappadocia region. Tourists run everything, don't they? Visitors to this site can explore the labyrinth of tunnels and chambers and learn about the fascinating history of this ancient underground city. Huge Stone Balls And now we move on to some huge stone balls. But these aren't exactly what you may be thinking about. The only thing that's different is that there's a lot more information on them. Well, actually, there's just enough to create some mystery. Because these giant stone balls rest on a massive empty plain, when you see them, they kind of look like a giant threw them anyway. Some are the size of beach balls while others are different sizes, but it's the mystery of this one that has people enthralled because no one quite knows what they are. Where are these balls coming from? Can you take a guess? Let us know in the comments below with your best guess and maybe you'll be right. Tomb of the China's First Emperor Army If you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we cover a lot of tombs here at this channel. There's just something about them. They're alluring and historic. This is where we start on the tomb of the China's First Emperor Army. It's got a lot of history to it. The tomb of the China's First Emperor Army, also known as the Terracotta Army, is a massive collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of the first emperor of China. You might have seen it before because presidents like President Clinton have been seen visiting them. It's estimated that there are over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with horses, and 150 cavalry horses, all made of terracotta and placed in the emperor's tomb to protect him in the afterlife. The figures are also positioned in a way that gives the impression of a lively army with soldiers standing in formation preparing for battle, or even playing musical instruments. In addition to the soldiers, the army also includes models of weapons such as crossbows and spears and everyday items such as pots and pans, all of which were placed in the tomb to provide the emperor with everything he might need in the afterlife. The tomb of the China's first emperor army is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting millions of visitors each year who come to see this incredible collection of sculptures and learn more about China's ancient history. Despite its age and size, the Terracotta Army has been well preserved and much of it is still in its original condition, providing us with a fascinating glimpse into life in ancient China. In conclusion, the tomb of the China's first emperor army is a remarkable and unique monument that tells the story of one of the most powerful leaders in Chinese history and showcases the skill and creativity of the ancient Chinese artisans. We have to admit though, they kind of remind us of mannequins. What about you? Ulfbert Viking Swords There's no way that we would be able to leave off the things that would feel most mystical. And what's more mythical than some old Viking swords? That's where the Ulfbert Viking Swords come into play. They feel like they belong in the game, The Legend of Zelda. But really, these swords are some of the most renowned and highly sought-after weapons from the Viking Age. They're named after the inscription Ulfbert that appears on the blade, which is believed to be the name of a legendary blacksmith who lived in the early 9th century. The swords are known for their exceptional quality and craftsmanship, which made them highly prized possessions among the Vikings. The blades were made using a process known as pattern welding, where different pieces of steel were fused together to create a single strong and flexible blade. This process allowed the blacksmiths to create swords that were far superior to those made by other smiths of that time. These swords were widely traded and used by the Vikings, and they've been found as far away as Africa and Asia. They were also highly valuable to other cultures, such as the Franks and the Byzantines, who considered them to be symbols of power and prestige. Today, these swords are highly sought after by collectors, historians, and enthusiasts. They're considered some of the finest example of Viking metalwork, and they're highly valued for their historical significance and beauty. These swords are an important part of the rich cultural heritage of the Viking Age. They're a testament to the skill and ingenuity of the blacksmiths who created them, and they continue to inspire awe and admiration centuries after they were first made. Whether you're a collector, a historian, or simply a fan of the Vikings, these swords are an essential part of the story of this fascinating period of history. There's really no joke to make about that one, because it's true. 
Gobekli Tepe. We gotta admit, we kinda know that it's hard to pronounce this next one, but don't worry, we got the sound packed right for you. It's called the Gobekli Tepe, and it's a prehistoric site located in modern-day Turkey near the city of Şanlıurfa. It's considered one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the 21st century and is thought to be one of the world's oldest religious temples. What makes it so remarkable is that it predates the development of agriculture and the formation of permanent settlements, which is a really long time if you think about it. It's believed that the people who built the site were hunter-gatherers, and the fact that they were able to create such a massive and sophisticated structure is a testament to their technological and organizational abilities. The purpose is still a matter of debate among archaeologists, but it's generally thought to have served as a religious or spiritual center. The pillars, with their intricate carvings, may have served as a form of communication with the gods or as a way to commemorate the dead. In addition to its religious significance, it's also thought to have played a role in the development of human civilization. Some researchers believe that the construction of the site led to the development of agriculture, as it required a large number of people to work together and cooperate which could have laid the foundations for more complex societies. It's a fascinating and mysterious site that continues to challenge our understanding of the ancient world. Its age and complexity have made it a source of ongoing research and speculation, and it remains one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the last century. We doubt there'll be any more like them. Actually, we're always finding great discoveries. Mummified Crocodiles Let's face it, if there's anything spookier than some crocodile, it's some mummified crocodiles. The mummified crocodiles found in Egypt are a testament to the ancient Egyptians' reverence for the powerful and dangerous creatures. Crocodiles were highly respected in ancient Egyptian culture, and they were worshipped as gods in some parts of the country. Not us, we're not worshipping any of these crocodiles, but let's continue. As a result, many crocodiles were mummified and offered as sacrifices to the gods. The mummified crocodiles were created using a process similar to that used for human mummies. The body was first cleaned and treated with preservatives, and then it was wrapped in linen bandages. In some cases, the crocodiles were also adorned with jewelry or amulets, which were believed to protect them in the afterlife. The crocodile mummies were typically placed in temples or other religious sites, where they were offered as gifts to the gods. We could probably see ourselves offering up some crocodiles to the gods, but we don't have any on hand. They were also sometimes given as gifts to pharaohs or other important individuals who would use them as offerings in religious ceremonies. In addition to their religious significance, the mummified crocodiles also have scientific value. They provide valuable information about the species and their habitats, as well as the methods used by the ancient Egyptians to preserve the animals. No matter what we just said about these crocodiles, our summary happens to be that they're spooky. Fossilized Dinosaur Eggs we mentioned Jurassic Park before and we're going to mention it again, because this next one feels like it belongs in that movie. It's all about some fossilized dinosaur eggs. And guess what? These fossilized dinosaur eggs are a rare and precious discovery for paleontologists, and the recent find at a construction site in China has once again caught the attention of the scientific community. According to reports, the eggs were found among the rubble at a building site in the city of Huiyan, and they're believed to be between 70 and 100 million years old. We don't think that we'll be able to fit all those candles on a birthday cake. Call us crazy, dinosaur eggs are relatively rare finds, as they're easily destroyed and degraded over time, making the discovery of hundreds of eggs at the construction site in China particularly significant. The eggs, which are around the size of a grapefruit, are believed to belong to the dinosaur species known as Dinosaurus egomus maximus, a large herbivorous species that lived during the late Cretaceous period. The discovery of these eggs has not only provided new information about the biology of dinosaurs, but also shed light on the environment and conditions in which they lived. And that's a pretty good thing for everyone. Knowledge is power, right? Scientists will be able to study the eggs in great detail, including their composition, structure, and any evidence of embryonic development, which will provide a deeper understanding of dinosaur biology. So there you have it, Game of Thrones wasn't the only place where you could find giant eggs. Mummified Cats and Beetles Remember how we mentioned the mummified crocodiles not too long ago? Well, now we move on to mummified cats and beetles. That's right, it doesn't stop. The discovery of mummified cats in Cairo, Egypt has once again highlighted the rich cultural heritage and historical significance of the country. But it sounds a little spooky to us. 
The mummified cats were found in a burial site near the ancient city of Memphis, one of the oldest cities in the world and the capital of Egypt during the Old Kingdom period. The mummies were in surprisingly well-preserved condition, with many of them still retaining their fur, whiskers, and other distinctive features. This has allowed archaeologists to study the mummies in detail, providing new insights into the culture and beliefs of ancient Egyptians. It's definitely not a job for the faint of heart. Cats were highly revered in ancient Egyptian society, and it was believed that they brought good luck and prosperity to their owners. They don't sound like anything like the cats we have today. The discovery of the mummified cat suggests that this reverence for cats extended even to their afterlife, as the mummies were often buried with great care and attention to detail. On top of their cultural significance, the mummified cats also provide important information about the history of Egypt and the evolution of the country's beliefs and customs. The mummies are believed to be between 2,000 and 3,000 years old, and their discovery offers a glimpse into a time when Egypt was a thriving and influential civilization. Hopefully no one's really mummifying any cats today, because that would be a little creepy. There you have it, the world is filled with mystery and we're sure there's going to be plenty more of those mysteries springing up in the future. But guess what? We'll be right here to tell you all about them. 